Just realized I haven't done a video of trimming quite some time, so just doing Loma here. I already did the bars. I'm just gonna trim her. She's not bad, just she's a little long on her heels, so just gonna take it around. And I'm not gonna do too much on the bottom because it is frozen ground out there. Her toe's a little long right here. Um, this is her good side. Her other side has a little bit of a club foot. Not bad, like little girls. I guess you can't really see with my arm there. Something like that. So let's scooch over. So, see how I'm not, I don't mean doing it fast, but, you know, people don't watch the whole video. So, we try to get as much done as possible so that I can teach as much as possible here. Again, I don't want to take too much off because it is winter time and we do have frozen ground. Right now it's snowing. We're supposed to get three to six inches today. So I want to check the balance. Then I'll bring it forward. I do want to get more of that black stuff out of the bar. Right like that. Um, check my balance real quick. Then I'll bring it forward. A little high on the outside. Um, I started doing this for people who haven't seen some prior videos uh, about eight years ago. And then I really, my my old farrier was really good. Um, still talk to him to this day, but I had a young lady that wanted to learn how to, well, a mother wanted to teach her daughter how to be a farrier so she's now down in Virginia Tech unfortunately I don't think she's coming back she went through that program um, a lot better nice area than up here in my opinion but anyways so now I have to do all the hooves besides little girl and rigs Danielle still does rigs and little girl because they're a little bit above my pay grade um, little girl has worse club foot than what Wilma does so I do all the other ones because we do barefoot turns on them. Um, just getting nice. So there's toes a little long on the inside, so just spend more time right there. Wilma did just get done doing the lesson, so this is perfect. She's a little on the drier side, so now I don't have to get wet. Um, so we're good there. I just was feeling for a ridge, so I didn't feel one. Now I'm just going to come underneath and roll it right like that. Switch to this side. During the winter time, it, they do slow down a little bit, so I'm thankful for that. And again, I'm not a professional. I only do my wife's horses and our horses here at Grace Lakers. Um, if somebody does ask, I will um, have them, you know, contact the professional. I don't want to make somebody's horses lame. Um, I don't want to make these horses lame, but I won't feel quite as bad. And it does happen. I, when I was learning how to put a shoe on, hammering it with a nail, I did get too close to rigs and I drew blood so thankfully he was I mean he's all right so he still gets used in the program it does happen give your farrier a break if it does happen you know they don't try it we don't go around saying hey I want to make this horse lame today um, sometimes horses don't cooperate so there not bad shoot I'm at four minutes already so and one was taking a nice, hey, well, fart on me. Taking the bar, tucking the frog a little bit. Again, some fairies don't touch it. I do. Um, I'm just weird, I guess.
Yes, I do have a, a knife sharpener, but it got legs and walked away. So just bear with me as I go through that. Uh, again, I might just grasp the heel because it's not bad. Right there. So you can see it grows in six weeks. All right, I gotta take my coat off. It's getting in the way. All right, thank you for your patience. Pick this up. So you can see the please cut here line. I'm ready for summer. I hate trimming with all this clothing on just because it's hard for me to move around. I like freedom. Just roll on the toe. Check the balance. There we go. And I will address that. A little piece of skin that I cut off there. It did make it bleed a little bit. Not bad. So I'll bring this forward. So Wilma's also been uh, stiff on this back right. So I'll see if I can address that too. Stretch it out a little bit. Again, the heel is the hardest part for me to do. Um, just my personal opinion. Some farriers don't have any problems with it. I'm just not as young and limber as I used to be. So I said the woman got used today already, so she's done for the day. Uh, I try only to use Wilma once in a uh, once in a day. Some of my other horses get used twice. Um, little girl's about the only horse that I will use three times, um, just because I know her mentality and she can handle it. Now Wilma also does walk trot canter lessons, whereas little girl only does walk trot some uh, some trotting. Definitely no canter. Just the way her bone is made up in her foot. There. Pretty good on that one. So done. Got to put the dorsal in it. Readjust. Not as cold as it had been, so I really could shed some layers, but I'm not going to, because I want to get this job done. So I will address that little skin thing that I took took off. Um, I'm gonna scoot her over. So how I scoot her over is just put some pressure right here on the front shoulder. She steps over, and then I release the pressure. So. Back here, right there, get my tools. This is her club foot side, so right there. Now, on this side, I do, t I do take a little bit more heel than you would think would be okay, but to help her move out properly, that's what you want to do. So I'm just trying to get rid of all of this junk in there, making, taking a peek underneath, making sure there's nothing under there that is concerning, nothing that I see that I have to address. I can't believe she grew this fast. She was due. I try to stay on top of Wilma because of her club foot issues and all that stuff. Again, 
Please no comments about the dull knife. I get it. I just can't find my sharp. I apologize, one more. Oh, I'm sweating. So, I'm just gonna let it go at that because instead of just picking at it I had to find my sharpener if not I'll just take it back and use the grinder on it but no sense of making Wilma wait longer on something that I should have been able to do in 15 seconds so again sorry for wasting your time there but this is showing you what I needed to do so now I'm gonna drop the heel a lot more so than I did on the other side. And probably not as much as I should because my farrier, uh, Danielle, will come and tell me I need to take more off. But this is what I feel comfortable with. So, I'm gonna check the balance, roll the toe. Bring her forward. Man, oh day. That looks pretty darn good. We'll put that down. Bring us forward. Five more minutes. I try to keep my toe as long as possible. Well, not my toe, her toe. spot that I saw I wanted to dress so now I move over here this crack is not to worry about it's just just on the outside um, obviously it's on the outside so it's not having any ill effects to her um, the way she moves the way her hoop is um, so we do keep an eye on it I ran my hand down there. I don't know if you could see it, but it was a little bit of a, a duck tail there, so, as I call it. So I wanted to dress it. My rasp is getting dull as well. All these things add up. I do have a new rasp. But honestly, I don't like the way it, it does the job. I just don't like it. So therefore I'm not gonna use it. So put that down, that's good. Move it back here. Oh, door's open. Whoa, I ran into the stall. Uh-oh, we're crooked. Holy smokes. And I will address that frog more once I get my knife sharpened. I told you, I said that. Um, 
Now you scoot back. Now, like I said, Chief's been kind of stiff on this back right, but we'll see what's going on here. There you go. Oh, got to stretch a little bit. So, does anybody have any good suggestions about keeping sparrows out of your barn, out of your indoor? We have, oh, we, I just had that in my mouth. But uh, the rider was on this morning and stinking bird flew up and hit right, Wilma right in the face. So, besides doing what everybody thinks I'm going to be doing, I want to try to do it the, the right way and get the birds out. So we don't have that problem. Wilma hand it, handled it like a champ. She just put her head up and she got a little faster, rightfully so. Something flies in my face, I'm gonna get out of get out of the way. Um, she kept the rider safe. But I wanna see if anybody has any suggestions to keeping the birds out of your indoor. Before I do it my way. Perfect, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna take some heel off. Oop, I'm gonna waste my time there if I just do it that way. So I'll get my nippers. She grows so weird. Please cut here line. I didn't help myself out there by adding that roll. So if I can add an extra nip there now that when I bring it forward, I'm going to be able to know where to rasp to on the front. Ouch. That might draw some blood. Check the balance. Looks pretty good. Now I bring it forward. So that little nip that I made right there, you can see it. So now I know I have to, that's my, I set my line where I want it to be. Longest time, I was using my shoulders, trying to muscle through it. But when Danielle was teaching me, um, she just said, "Use your elbows." You know, so it does help me out a lot. My shoulders don't hurt quite as much. Um, now I do take the all-natural supplement, um, and without that, I don't think I'll be able to do it as often as I do. It's the same product that I give the horses, just the human human version, a pill version. It does help out. If there's major issues, it's not going to fix that. But if you have minor aches and pains, instead of taking ibuprofen, this is an all-natural solution. Ah, the details in the link. Um, all the horses are on it. They actually um, are kind enough to sponsor Romeo and Little Girl. They get a shot twice a week. So, very thankful for that. Because Romeo is old. Little girl has that club foot, and it does help her to move out more correctly. That's 
That's done. Uh, the, oh, 20 minutes. That's 